Hi everyone, it's Philip at NYC Music Services, and today I'm going to show you how to tape music. And by taping music, I'm not talking about recording music, but actually taping pieces of paper that are music. Now, of course, I've represented the music here by these big numbers. But basically, the reason you would want to tape music, and I'm talking about taping it single-sided and folded accordion style, is for in a recording session, or a lot of times commercial music is done this way, where you might have uh, music that is just totally laid out uh, on the stand, there may not be any page turns, and you don't want to bother with turning pages left and right. Of course, the other way of uh, folding music is by doing it uh, booklet style, double-sided. And that's very simply, you know, page one folded over, and then you have two and three, and then four uh, stapled in the middle if there are more than four pages. So that's a very straightforward way of binding music. But taping music is a little more complicated. So here's what you need in order to accomplish the task. Uh, the first thing I have is a artist sketch board. And this actually has two clips, and you'll see why that's helpful in a moment. Um, it has a rubber band for extra security. I often don't use it, but it's there if you need it. Uh, you need what's, um, this is called a bone folder. And it uh, used to be made out of bone, actually, but now it's uh, made out of plastic. This happens to be Martha Stewart variety, uh, and uh, uh, that's called a bone folder. Um, you also have uh, artist tape. Actually, I'll show you the actual kind that I use. This is three-quarter inch artist white tape. A lot of people use half inch. Uh, three-quarter is a little more secure, except that you just have to make sure that the margins on your music can accommodate it so you don't tape over the music. Um, and all these things, I will include a link on my blog to the various products. I get them all from Amazon, so if you want to just get them directly from there, uh, everything is very reasonable. And of course, just your standard scissors and um, any old ruler will do. Okay, so we have the music here, and this is 9 by 12 paper. This is 18 by 12 paper. And if you do have a paper, a printer that can accommodate 18 by 12 paper, uh, it's great because if the music's only two pages, you don't even need to worry about taping the music. You can just fold it one and two, and then you know, print it on one and two, and then fold it over. The music's on the stand like that, and you're done. But of course, if you need three pages or more, you're obviously going to need to tape it. Um, if you tape three single pages, obviously that's twice as much um, taping. So the first thing I'll do is start by folding my one and two um, pages. Now, if you don't have time to score and use the bone folder for this, you may not have time for that if it's a rush situation. But if you want to spend a little more time, I do what's called scoring the paper in advance. And that produces a nice crease. So we will um, just measure um, nine inches. And if you can see here, I'm just going to make a little mark right at the 9-inch mark, and then another mark here, same at the bottom. So I have a good guide about to, uh, you know, where I'm going to score the music. And I'm just going to basically draw a line, you won't actually see anything other than the indentation of the bone folder. But what this does, you might want to just go over it one or two times, get a nice crease. And what this does, it makes a nice crease on the paper so that when you fold it, you can grab your bone folder and just go over it so that you get a nice crease right in the middle. And then you have it, and it doesn't crack at all. It's a very smooth crease. So we have that. We have pages one and two. That's done. Then I'm going to take the three pages, flip them over like this, put them in the clips. And what you want to do is just get them as close as you can to each other, but not touching. Leave a small gap right in the middle there. That's good. If you get them totally overlapping, then that's no good because you don't want your paper bunching up. Okay, so then I take my tape and I find uh, where it starts. 
And what I'll do is I will just match it up with the top edge of the paper. And the paper is just, the tape is just translucent enough. So if you put it down pretty close, you can see where you're going. And I'll just tape it like that. And I don't worry about, um, you know, taping a little bit over the edge here. That's okay. Because I'll just take my scissors and cut off the excess flush with the paper. And then I'll flip it over and fold it. Usually you just, I can fold this, you know, manually, but if you want to be extra careful about it, you can use your bone folder. And now we have a finished part, three page part, ready for playing. This is a very easy piece to play, by the way. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll include the links uh, on my blog.